to our last main topic here today, and that's for another trailer that dropped during the Super Bowl. And that is the one a lot of people have been waiting to see, The Flash. Now, obviously, and for totally understandable reasons, uh, any talk of The Flash has kind of been overshadowed a lot in our circles because of the misbehavior of Ezra Miller. And all that sideshow stuff that has been a huge distraction of this field, understandably so. However, the trailer has now dropped. We heard people, I have personally spoken to people who have seen the movie and say it's utterly fantastic. James Gunn, who had nothing to do with the making of this movie, say it's one of the best comic book movies ever made. Put on his Twitter this weekend that, guys, I cannot wait for you to watch this movie. And again, I, I know he's the head of DC Films, but he had nothing to do with the making of this movie. And he's like out there parading it around, really excited about it. Well, the people got a chance during Super Bowl to see the full trailer for The Flash. And without any hesitation, and again, a trailer is just a trailer, right? We've seen lots of great trailers to bad movies, lots of bad trailers to great movies. So we're just speaking about the trailer. Easily the best trailer of Super Bowl. Easily the best trailer of Super Bowl. And I include the Fast 10 trailer in that. And I really, you know, I really, really like that Fast 10 trailer a lot. This is better than the Air trailer. This is better than the Fast and the Furious trailer. This was hands down the best trailer of Super Bowl weekend. This trailer was fantastic. I, I could not believe how excited. I'm a little dubious about Cara uh, Jarrell's uh, the play, role in this thing. I'm a little bit, or Cara, I'm a little bit nervous about the Supergirl angle of it too. But man, this trailer played, and I'm like, give me more of this Supergirl. I'm now completely invested. And the way Zod came and played in it, we had friends over for the Super Bowl and we put this trailer on and when this trailer came up and we had friends like when the, the shot back to Man of Steel with Zod's very staticky face on the screen, it's like, wait, what? Like people getting all that kind of excited. And they, the friends of ours who were over did not know Michael Keaton was in this movie. So when Michael Keaton comes on screen, my, my friends are there like, what? And then when he dives down off that banner and they go into the, how powerful is music? They go into the musical note and hits of the original Batman score. Bah, 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 as he's going down. And I unexpectedly realized the hairs on my arm were standing up. My heartbeat was picking up a little faster. I was getting chills and all that kind of stuff. When the two flash boots connect in the desert and they go off in other ways. Or when Batman says like, try not to die, and then moves out of the way, and you just see that floating figure in the air that we, we know is Supergirl. And Zod B playing a role in that. My God, this was a great trailer. Again, not saying that the movie is going to be great. I haven't seen it. Maybe it'll be a total mess. But as far as just a trailer goes, this was Seven Shades of Fantastic. I love this trailer. It got me... I mean, I've been excited for this movie regardless. So I am super stoked. I am super hyped for this. Cannot wait. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. When you're at your best, you can do great things, but sometimes life gets you bogged down and you may feel overwhelmed or like you're not showing up in the way that you know you can. Working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you because when you're feeling at your best, the challenges that life throws at you don't disappear, but you're more prepared to take on those challenges. Guys, you know I've been saying for a long time that we need to start prioritizing our mental health as much as we do our physical health. When we dedicate ourselves to going to the gym and looking after ourselves, we we see that as a great step forward for us physically. Well, it's time for us to start taking care of ourselves mentally as well. So if you're feeling it's time to give therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So if you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Campia. Anyway, Chris, you had a chance to watch <laughs> this theoretical, hypothetical movie trailer <laughs> that may or may not be real. This thing that may exist. Who knows? Who Batman knows? Flashpoint. It's still Batman but Flashpoint. But just in theory, yeah. what did oh, you think about this? Everyone in the chat is like, I can't wait for Chris to admit this movie exists. <laughs> I will die on this hill. I think this bit's funny. I don't care. I don't care at all. It's still Batman Flashpoint, though. All the Batman iconography. All the Batman. Come on. I liked it, though. It looked good. <laughs> it, it looked like a fun film. I don't know if it's as, like, jaw-droppingly awesome 
as as some other people feel it is. I also am trying to just kind of compartmentalize because I'm just I'm so completely turned off by all of Ezra Miller's behavior why? that this really hmm why why indeed <laughs> that oh. I'm, I'm what's just, wrong you know, <laughs> what do you do <laughs> it's it's so cool when you just you know uh harm people and throw chairs and steal yeah yeah it's great it's oh, good yeah. superhero yeah. behavior um and I understand that the this movie he's playing a character they're playing a character and I'm going to see this for work for sure anyway. I know I have to. But I, I'm just having a hard time getting excited about it. And other things in here do make me excited. Michael Keaton. Gosh, Kara looks cool. She does. I, I yeah. do think the idea of this, too, is a really nice bookend to the you know DCU that we've had so far. I think this would be a really lovely conclusion because it looks like we are taking all those little set pieces from before and going, hey, this is going to launch us into this next chapter. I hope it's done well. I'm going to try to get more excited about it. Rob, you watching this trailer. Uh, you and I have not talked about it. We, even when we came in the office this morning, we did not discuss it. What were your impressions of this Flash trailer? Ah, loved it. I mean, I, I, it was what was really interesting to me is somebody described it on Twitter that, well, because Barry Allen is very similar to the portrayal of Peter Parker, that this is their own No Way Home you mm -hmm. know, movie. And I'm like, okay, you could look at it that way, but Flashpoint was a big deal in the in the DC universe. Yeah. The Flash story was, it predates No Way Home by decades, I think. Well, a decade and a half, at least. And first of all, Michael Keaton looks great. And I mean, aside from the fact that I got over the sticker shock of Hot Toys action figures that are gonna come out of this, and the fact that I gleefully thought to myself, I have a Zod figure, neener, neener, neener. You know, that's not gonna have to be bought again. I thought the trailer looked really compelling i mean the voiceover about you're going to destroy these universes and ben affleck was really great as bruce wayne even though you only see him briefly and it was such you know that you're in the hands of people that know what they're doing where they stop they basically stop the trailer so the camera can push in on michael keaton's face and they you know normally they didn't have to do that they gave that pause i'm batman and then if you know because that's the signature. It was so great. And then the end, the taking of the pictures. But you know what I really appreciated too? John, as you know, when I talk about this movie, I've had a problem on the show when you're talking about The Flash as opposed to Ezra Miller themselves. Now, the crack at the end about them, you know, I now don't have a problem in my mind. I, can, I, I don't have a problem with the pronouns with this movie anymore because Flash truly is them now. <laughs> sure and too. I thought that was really cool. I mean... Uh, when when they say our kids, I'm like, what's going on in this movie? Um, but I can't <laughs> wait for this. I I uh, I thought this was great, and I'll tell you something. Ezra Miller looks great in this movie, and he's they all of them have how many flashes are in this movie? I don't know. We don't know because that we know there's a lot. at least two. Yeah, and are there more? Probably. I don't know, but I thought that his you know the look on their face when they say about their mother, why, why are you doing this? That got to me like in the trailer, just the close up. I'm like, that's, that was a, well, that was part of flashpoint, you know, saving mom. Well, that's the whole point. Really. I mean, yeah. and the I thought the they nailed it. You know, the fact that you can see, I think one of the reasons everyone has said this movie is so good is that the emotional stakes are very real. And I think that's that was conveyed to me in this trailer, in addition to all the crazy superhero multiverse action. I think this is actually going to be a legitimately emotionally affecting great fantasy film. And I'm excited. Ray, I know when you you were watching the trailer with us yesterday, the moment Kara came on screen, you like you got hyped up. Like what, what did you think about the trailer? That's my favorite character in uh, Injustice. I love playing Supergirl. I think that's it. That's that's where my enthusiasm came from. This is gonna this is gonna hit a billion. This movie is gonna hit a billion dollars. <laughs> just mark my words. I just I I just think it will. I mean I, I don't know. I think and it, it she looks, looks good. great. I'm, I'm as yeah, the costume yeah. is fantastic. By yeah, the way. that full body costume. Yeah, it looks great. Now, one of the other things that got people peeking up a bit about it was there was a lot of talk online about that. People believe they saw and heard Christian Bale mm -hmm. in the trailer. The one shot in particular. Do you have that image there, Jonathan? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you find that? Yeah. This is one of the images saying it's it's Bale's, you know, uh, bad cycle. No, it's not. And 
<laughs> and saying, well, and it's not Michael Keaton, because if you look at Michael Keaton's shot in the trailer, the air, the ears on it, I feel like I'm talking about Peter's dick again, but the ears on Michael Keaton's cowl are like this tall. And the ears on this cowl are not the Michael Keaton ears. I mean, they, they, that's a that's like less than half the height. This of Michael is Keaton's. the bat pod. Well, yes, that's what that was going to be my point. Was that when you look at that? Yes, it is very reminiscent of the bat cycle that Christian Bale rides. Absolutely, it's very reminiscent of it. But as Jonathan just pointed out, this you can bring that back up again. This is what Christian Bale's. It's a one wheel thing. It's it's a very fat tire but it is different. Also, there are other shots where we clearly see it as Ben Affleck, right? I mean, so I, I, I believe 100% that that is the Ben Affleck Batman. We're going to see him a little bit in action here. Now, I put up on Twitter today, though. I said, now, look, if this ends up being Christian Bale, which I am not saying it is, clearly, I 100% I agree that it's, it's Ben Affleck. But I will tell you what, and, and for the record, I am somebody who does not believe Christian Bale is in this movie, all right? Just, just to be clear. That being said, I'm saying in the hypothetical, if Christian Bale ends up making a cameo in this movie, yeah, you take that audience pop that you heard when Professor Charles Xavier came out in Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, triple that. You take that J. Jonah Jameson cameo at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, when J.J. shows up on the screen talking, you take that audience pop, throw it out the window. If Christian Bale pops up in this movie, which again, I do not believe he is, but if he did, the pop would be heard around the world. The, the, the squealing and cheering and exuberance in your movie theater is going to be off the chart, Rob. So I, I don't know. Do you think there's any chance Keaton could be in there? Or well, not Keaton, but uh, Bale? And what kind of reaction do you think uh, it would get? A certain uh, a movie pundit who does not live on this coast, was making assertions that this was the case. And uh, James Gunn clapped back really hard addressing this very issue. And I chuckled. I chuckled aloud. So I I think, look, with this kind of movie, anything is a possibility. So I wouldn't say no. So I'm, I'm leaving the possibility open because uh, why not? Um, but we don't know. I don't know. I, I would lean into probably not, but who knows where they're going to go with this? Because we do know they did some reshoots over the summer. They but that's standard. That's standard. But what did, what did they add? Well, but every movie always does it. They don't always add Christian Bale. But uh, No, but they might have. Well, you I, never know. It's it's within the realm of possibility. Yeah, that's all, I, that's all well, I'm saying. Would they Would they have to have Christian Bale there? Can't they just, you know, in, <clears throat> infer or like... The uh, question is why, you know, what are they, what would they use him for? Yeah. Just, I mean, if like, why, if you don't actually have Christian Bale there, what would be the point of having somebody else in Christian Bale's Batman costume mm, and right. sounding like, like I what mean, would be the point of that? The, 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 the whole rumor that was being addressed or even teed up set up is that the new Batman moving forward is introduced at the end of this movie. And the assertion is being that they're bringing Christian Bale back to be the new Batman. Oh, see, I would the... a thousand percent not believe that. <laughs> right. Well, James Gunn, as I said, made that pretty clear. Made it pretty clear. Um, one last thing I want to address, though, about the the, the flashing, and I why well, it is hands down the best trailer of Super Bowl. A remarkable trailer. I, I cannot wait to watch this movie. Listen, you know, I've always been a fan of Ezra Miller's portrayal of yes. Flash. I've always been a fan of it. Even the people who like go, that's not how you run because you know, Ezra Miller's got this kind of a run thing. And whenever I hear somebody pull that out, goes, that's not how you run. I'm going to really, really. Okay. Please demonstrate for me how somebody who runs faster than the speed of light runs. Show me that. Or show me, show me examples of people who run faster than the speed of light. Show me how that person runs. It's because it's a ridiculous thing. That's not how you run. Who's to say that's not how you run when you run faster than the speed right. of light? That's, that's all I'm saying. So I've always been a fan. I continue to be a fan of Ezra Miller's portrayal of the character. All right? And I really like the look of Ezra in this trailer. I really, really do. 100%. I'm looking forward to seeing Ezra in this movie. I really am. Mm -hmm. It don't matter, though. It does not matter. It doesn't matter if this movie makes a billion dollars, which after this trailer, I, I might be with Ray, that maybe it will. 
Ezra is done as the Flash after this movie. Ezra's done. What Ezra, Ezra did not write some inappropriate tweets. Ezra Miller did not say an off-color joke. The stuff that Ezra Miller is accused of is far more serious. Far more serious than an inappropriate joke made, inappropriate tweets made, uncovered obscene love letters that they wrote seven years ago. No, 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 no. We're talking about somebody who a girl's parents had to try to take legal action to get their daughter away from them. We're talking about somebody who was breaking into people's bedrooms in the middle of the night and threatening them. And, and, and it goes, somebody who we have on video grabbing a woman by the throat and taking them down to the ground. Now, I give, you know, this movie a pass on, I guess, like the vast, 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 movie, pretty much this whole movie was already shot before all these things started coming out and all these things started happening. This is stuff that Warner Brothers, even the previous organization, had no way of knowing was going to happen when they shot this movie. So I do not hold any of that against this movie. But Ezra's done as Flash after this. And, and I will go on record. I will go on record and say this. If by some unimaginable twist of things, because too many people, I've seen too many people trying to compare Ezra's situation to James Gunn. Well, James Gunn will understand because people try to like cancel James Gunn. James Gunn wrote off-color tweets a decade earlier. This is not tweets, okay? This is not jokes, this isn't anything as, as small as that. This is something way more serious. And I will go on record, and I'm a huge James Gunn fan. Huge James Gunn fan. You guys know this. I'm a fanboy of James Gunn. But I will say this, and I'll go on record right now. If by some unimaginable, inconceivable scenario that James Gunn and Peter Safran have a complete brain fart and decide, oh, we're going to keep Ezra around. Because I, I guarantee you, this movie makes a billion dollars. You can recast Ezra, and the next one can still make a billion dollars. I guarantee you that, 100%. And I say that as a fan of Ezra's portrayal of the character. But if they did, my God, I'll tell you what. The moment The Flash 2 comes out in theaters, DC's dead to me. Like, you, you just can't be that asinine stupid to just ignore all this other stuff. Now, granted... It, court cases may happen, it, like lawsuits may happen. And I don't know, some other dimensional being may come into existence and say, here's why all the claims against Ezra Miller are false. And we may find out that, hey, that's a different story. At that point, new information makes us change our perspective. And if new information comes out, I am more than willing, as always, to change my perspective. But make no mistake about it. Ezra Miller ain't going to be the Flash again. There might, there might be a cameo here or there where Ezra Miller's maybe already shot and it's integral, or, but even that can be reshot. But I do not believe for one second that Ezra Miller, no matter how good this movie is and no matter how good Ezra is in it, Ezra's done as Flash and, and maybe some kind of a, a, a redemption thing for Ezra's actor career later on can happen, but... I don't know. Rob, you got a thought on that? Well, I was just not about that necessarily. I was going to ask you. I forgot to ask you. I mean, this is a sequel to Man of Steel. It, it, we, I, it I mean, is, who yeah. would have thought that Michael <laughs> Shannon, I, I want to know, I would love to see Michael Shannon's agent comment on the character of Zod. Well, yeah, he got killed off in Man of Steel. Then we brought him back as a corpse in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. You know, we saw him there. Now he's full on back as Man of Steel Zod with the world engines, you know, blowing up Metropolis. I, I, I thought this is, that's, awesome you know I, and and so the people like the restore the snyderverse if i was a hardcore restore the snyderverse kid i'd be like you got ben affleck you got zod and you have the flash you know you have all characters that Zack snyder cast and created for dc like this is a great button a great exclamation point a great punctuation and even though we're getting aquaman too on the Snyderverse. And yeah, I, but this this is not a Snyderverse movie. No, this but, is not but, this but, is an Andy Muschietti. No, movie. sure, but right. it clearly is a sequel to the Snyderverse realm. Sure. Because and I think that's cool. I think that like how many directors when they leave a franchise or something that they created get this kind of a send-off? Like this is closing the door definitively on that universe. And I think it's cool. 
I'm like, that's rad. All right, guys. Question is for you. What did you think about the trailer? Again, just speaking on the merits of the trailer, I couldn't be more thrilled with it. I, I, I thought it was exciting and thrilling, and I am pumped to watch this movie as a result of it. Maybe it didn't do the same for you. Uh, maybe you're like, the Ezra stuff is so distracting, I can't even separate the two situations at this point. I, I'd understand that too. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.